Hi everybody, Dr. Lori Perrin here from Slow and Steady 360. I'm happy to have you here with me today. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to my stepdaughters, Addie and Ryan Peek, for this amazing yoga mat that they got me for my birthday. I was completely floored speechless, which if you know me, is kind of hard to do to make me speechless, but they succeeded and they got this for me for my birthday. It was a total surprise. 100% their ideas, and I just want to say a huge, heartfelt, loving thank you to the both of you. You are amazing, and thank you for supporting me in this venture. And thank you to all of you for being here and for supporting me in this venture. Um, I'd like to do a 20-minute workout today where we're going to do five exercises. We'll do them through four times. We're going to do a 40 20 split. So work for 40 seconds and rest for 20. If you like the 30, 30 or 35, 25, please stop the workout whenever it works best for you. So with one minute left, I'm just going to do a quick warm up here. Just getting ourselves moving. As usual, we'll go ahead and start with that running in place. Or if you don't like the running, maybe just those high knees, if that works well for you. So hope everybody's feeling good today and getting ready to, uh, to get a workout in and feel even better afterwards. That's the thing that I'm really loving about working out fairly often these days, especially as it's short and sweet, and I just feel so much better every time I do it. So I'm hoping that you all find the same thing as well. So hopefully you're getting ready, get your water and your tennis shoes and your great attitude and in about five seconds, we'll go ahead and start with that running in place. I'm gonna turn up my volume here today. All right, so here we go. A few seconds behind, sorry. Technical difficulties. I'm learning with all this new stuff how technical all of this is, and it's a huge learning curve for me, but I guess you can teach old dog new tricks is what I'm learning. And it's really fun to be doing so. And I'm getting so much support and help from so many people. So thank you out there. You know who you are if you've been helping me. I really appreciate it. All right. Great. Next one, we're going to do uh, some planks. And I think I'll just start with a regular high plank, but probably going to move to the shoulder taps throughout the workout today. So just to remind you, with plank, we're doing high plank. So, so our hands are gonna be under our shoulders, our core is engaged, our um, thinking of our belly button up to the ceiling, our glutes are engaged, and we're trying to keep our butt nice and even. So try to think of myself as a board as much as possible to try to be as level and straight as I possibly can. I don't want to be like this. That really hurts my lower back. And this isn't really all that helpful. So just kind of being in that nice straight posture, core engaged is really our best bet. Nice and easy breaths. Five seconds left. Okay. We're gonna do some side lunges next. So for side lunges, we'll start in the middle of our mat. I'll start right with the steady. And we're just gonna lunge and go back. Lunge, touch the floor, and go back. So if you can get all the way, if you get all the way to the floor, that's great. If you can't, that's okay too. Just kind of a bend in your knee. However far you can bend it would be great. I think you'll notice over time that you'll be able to get further and further each time. So, but for today, just do nice and easy. Slow and steady. Okay. Touch the floor. Back up. Bend, touch the floor. Kind of exhaling when you're going down. And up. And up. Five left on the clock. And last one. Okay. Next we're going to get on the back on the floor and do mountain climbers. If you guys have heard me enough, this is one that really, I think, gets your heart rate up. And I've been telling you guys to kind of do knees to shoulder, but also just knees to chest. I mean, knees to elbows, I've been saying. But knees to chest. 
is another good way to think about it. Hands under your shoulders, keeping that core engaged. Exhaling as your knee comes up and then increasing that pace as much as you can. Trying to get that knee up to that chest. Exhaling as the knee comes up. Moving those legs at whatever pace you can. Again, if a nice, easy pace works for you, please do that. Start wherever you're most comfortable and go up from there. All right, we're gonna stay on the ground for our last one of the five exercises for work our obliques and we'll do our ankle touches. So, down on the ground, lift up, touch your ankle, and down. Lift up, engage that upper core, tap your ankle, and down. Lift up, tap, down. Lift up, tap, down. Just so you can see it this way. Up, tap, down. Exhaling when you tap your ankle. Awesome. You're going to feel this in your obliques, trust me. This one's always a sneaker if you sneaks up on you. All right. Gonna get that left side in for my symmetry. Okay, we're through the first five. So we'll get ready to start our next five. Quick sip of water. This time with the running in place, if you want to add some punches, you could do that. If you've been doing the knee up, go ahead for like two knees up. If you want to do that to increase it. I'm just going to be punching out. Nobody really want to punch today, which is good. And to be honest, I don't almost ever have days where I really want to punch somebody, but if you do, it's a good way to get out that aggression. Really throw those punches. Get those knees up at the same time as much as you can. Keep that pace going. Nice, easy breaths. You got this. Okay. Five on the clock. We're going to head back down for our plank. So I'm going to add in the shoulder taps. For the next one. So just as a reminder, you're in that high plank, lift for a shoulder tap. Tap, 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 tap. Try to want to stay engaged with as little movement of your body as possible. So you don't want to be like all over the place like that. Keeping that core engaged is really huge in this. Just little tiny taps. And if it feels better for you to just stay in plank or sort of do 10 or 20 seconds of each, I think that's great. If you can start to add in a little of those shoulder taps, definitely do so. You'll feel it. I promise. <laughs> Terrific, okay. Up we go for our side lunges. And again, if you're doing that, we're just going down, up, touching the floor, bending that knee and getting that nice stretch out. Down, up, I tell you to go down, up, down. Great. Again, if you can't totally touch the floor, that's fine. I'd really rather you sort of work on your form and just bending that knee, if that feels better to you, as deeply as you can. So if you can get pretty low, great. If just a slight bend works, I'm totally fine with that. The key is that you do what works for you because that's the way you're gonna be most successful. All right, so we're gonna get back on the ground for those mountain climbers. This is another one where I really feel like the pace you go at is important for you to do what works for you. Five on the clock.
knee to chest, keeping that core engaged, hands under your shoulders, and just moving those feet, breathing as that knee comes up. And don't forget, if you like the 30-30 split, just work for 30 seconds or 35 and rest for the remainder. You don't have to do the 40-20 if that doesn't work for you. But if you want to, it's a great way to just slowly and steadily increase your progress, your heart rate, and your overall fitness. Perfect, all right. Stay on the ground for those obliques, ankle touches. Sarah, my shout out to you with these ankle touches. These always make me think of you. You know who you are. <laughs> Just remember, up, engage, tap. Engage, tap, and down. Engage, tap, and down. If you want, you can even stay here and do a double tap if you're feeling like you want a teeny extra. You can do that. Otherwise, just do your singles. I'm thinking maybe for the fourth round, we can kind of take everything up to its highest notch if you want. And if you don't, that's totally okay. Remember, this is about you doing what works for you. That's the way you're going to stick with it. Oh, left side. Okay. I'm always like a second off with that, huh? All right. Done with our second round. We're halfway through, folks. Way to go. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling strong. We'll do some climbing the rope with the running in place if you want. Climb that rope. Getting those knees up. Again, if you're doing legs, let's move to two knee touches. If you're just raising your legs instead of doing the running in place. That's just gonna help get that heart rate up a little bit more for you. And that's really what we want, these sudden bursts of elevated heart rate. That's where you're getting all the benefit, that anti-aging benefit. That's what I'm all about, the anti-aging and overall health benefit. Fabulous. This weekend I'm going to film my intermittent fasting informational video, so be sure to check that out. Tons of science behind intermittent fasting. All right, so high plank, if you want to do those shoulder taps, you can do those, or you can just stay in high plank. <laughs> Remember to keep that core engaged, glutes tight. Nice and easy breaths. So just to go back, that intermittent fasting, again, I'm going to go through all the science, just like I did with HIT. So much science behind intermittent fasting and how amazingly good it is for our metabolism, our overall health, and aging. Fantastic. I can't wait for you guys to see all of it. I'm so excited about it. All right, five on the clock. Great. I'm going to pop up and do those side lunges again. If you want to change it up, you're looking for something, you could do a curtsy lunge if you'd like. This makes me think of my friend Adrienne. She seems to like these. Curtsy. Or you can go back to the side lunge. Either way, you're trying to get as low to the ground as you can that feels comfortable. So if you're doing the curtsy, if you want to get that back knee back, if you're doing the side lunges, you're just going as far down as you can where you can touch the floor. Again, please do whatever feels best for you. All right. Feeling good, feeling strong. Last one. All right, on the ground for those mountain climbers, guys. So you start in that high plank, and then we'll get those knees to our chest. <coughs> and 
Making sure that core is engaged. Nice, easy breaths when those knee comes up. Whatever pace works for you. Stay there. If you feel like the last 10 seconds, you want to increase it a little bit just to start to see what that feels like. We could try that today. See what you think. So ready? We're going to increase that pace for the last 10 seconds. Go, 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 go. You got it. Go, go. Woo. Ah, okay. I wonder what my heart rate is with that. Oh yeah, 148. Man, that gets it up there. All right, obliques. Here we go with those ankle touches. Up, tap, down. Up, tap, down. Remember, if you want to get a second tap in there, that's good, that's great. Always looking for those places to increase a little bit. Increase your fitness level. Just a teeny bit at a time. What's amazing is what you see over time by doing that. It's crazy. You will surprise yourself. <laughs> I promise you that if you stick with it. All right, five on the clock, guys. Okay, one more round to go. You're doing awesome. If you can do a couple of these workouts a week, maybe two to three, I feel like that would be ideal. And then getting in something else, maybe walking, or a bike ride. I know a lot of people have Pelotons also, and they're doing some HIIT workouts on Pelotons. I think they have some longer rides on there too. So you could combine these HIIT then with longer rides on the Peloton, or trade off HIITs between this and that. The key is that you do it, not exactly where you do it or with whom, but that you get it done. And then we add in the food part with the intermittent fasting and eventually clean eating. You guys are gonna rock it. You're gonna feel so amazing. I think you're gonna be so pleasantly surprised if you follow along with me. So we're gonna go down for those planks and we're gonna do shoulder taps again, or if you need something different, maybe an up-down plank, you could do as well. Tap, tap, or down, down, up, up. Tap, tap, maybe let's combine them. Down, down, up, up. If you're looking for something different, a little variety, you can always change up stuff. And you don't have to do what I do every time. If something else works for you, please do that. Sometimes my sister does that. One of the exercises I do doesn't work for her, so she just plugs something else in. That's usually the same body part. I think that's a great idea. Great. All right, up we go for side lunges. So this would be an example, like if you don't really love the side lunge or that doesn't feel good for you, but maybe the curtsy lunge works. You can just kind of switch it up. The idea? I'm gonna stay with curtsy lunges. The idea of switching it up though is great, but maybe staying with the same body part just because I really do pick things so that you get a full body workout. So I'd love that if you could like, kind of keep with that in the same vein of that at least. I feel like that would be really best for you overall. Curtsy. Curtsy when we meet the queen. All right, we're almost there. Two more exercises to go, you guys. Mountain climbers and ankle touches. All right, we're gonna get back on the floor for our last two. Knee up. I don't know how you like that last 
time. If you liked going faster the last 10 seconds, if you did that, do it again. See how it feels. If you want to keep that pace up for the whole time, fabulous. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to keep that core engaged. And know that you have one exercise left after this. And it's on your back. Bonus. And there's no burpees today. Double bonus. I almost threw a burpee in there and I thought, I've been up a lot all night at work, so team even on the tired side and just couldn't take a burpee today. So maybe you appreciate that. Maybe you don't. I'll get it in there sometime. Up, tap, tap, down. Up, tap, tap, down. Up, tap, down. Again, whichever one works for you, please do that. You will definitely feel this in your obliques tomorrow, especially if you do the double tap. Remember, that soreness is good. That's a sign of kind of injury, but repair. And it's the repair process that is so healthy for us. All right, you guys, we're almost there. Five left. Fabulous. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope everybody enjoyed the workout. I hope you have a wonderful day. Addy, Ryan, thank you again deeply from my heart for my wonderful, beautiful yoga mat. Slow and steady 360, folks. See you later. Bye.